Hello, Leroy. <laughs> Man. I don't know what to say. I I don't know. The, the, here's the worst part of the whole thing. If you go to the game before, Spo ran the same exact damn play. Right? Yeah, with, yeah. With Nico was, going to the rim. The back cut, yeah. I mean, it yeah. was a little, little not so, as athletic, obviously, but uh, yeah. So, so if I'm a coach, what am I not going to get beat on? Yeah, well, why do you think he was so frustrated? I'm sure that was. I'm sure that was told. Like he could, you know, told. You could, you, I'm sure that was told to everybody in the huddle. It's like, hey, watch out for Jalen Duran. Very athletic, very big, and they lost to that. Like, why do you think he lost his mind like that? Prompting him to forget out. how many timeouts he had, hey, which was zero. I have never, ever said this, because you know me. I'm always the guy that says, you had other opportunities to win a game. But with 0.7 seconds left, to give the other team a free throw and the ball, you lost the game. Yeah, you lost the game. And that's, I think, like, I don't know what to do with this because... It, it is he, what it is. It's Spo. Like, it's it, like... It doesn't matter. When you know hey. somebody is... When you when you know somebody is one of the best in the league to have a meltdown like that to have a blunder like that and to just see his his reaction go from rage because you guys blew it to let's fix this oh no I have no method to fix this I have no timeouts I just lost us the game you see this all sweep over him in the span Wait, of about four this seconds. Is, this is what I saw. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I saw it. They messed up. I just messed up. Yep. yep. He goes, how could you, Darren? Nah, time out. Oh, no. And he tried to be so slick. You know when so you get when you put his hands down. Yeah, he tried to go back in and he tried to, like, gets back to the, to well, the, to that's the bench. The, this is one thing with Spo. This is one thing with Spo, okay? He's very demonstrative with the timeouts, okay? This has always been yeah, a Spo you can't, thing. You can't, you can't miss He's very it. demonstrative with the timeouts. Remember, remember, do you remember famously where this happened? In uh, the last time I remember something like this happening, of course, everybody goes to Chris Webber, which it was funny that, of course, uh, Jalen Rose was there courtside. And just look, I mean, by the way, Looked like he was either in disbelief or haunted by ghost pass. I think yeah. it was disbelief. I don't even think it was haunted. Disbelief by that pass. a person of, of that elk, that coach, yeah, would, correct. would make a mistake like that. Correct. This man, this man was just like he, he was. He was baffled by what he had just seen. I mean, it's it is. It, he's just like what? I think that's the meme of twenty at uh, the last meme of twenty twenty four. We just seen a we we seen a meme come to life, but. Okay. It's the last time I remember this happening. Do you guys remember? Uh, it was, I believe it was, was it Bulls Cavs or Raptors Cavs? I can't remember. But it was David Blatt tried to do that. He tried to call timeout with no with no timeouts left. And thankfully, the referee just let him go. You know, he's like, he just ignored him. And I LeBron and LeBron that. ended up hitting a buzzer beater. I think it evened up the series instead of them oh, going down. Oh, talking about Game Four of that of the second round between yes, the Bulls I think it was the Bulls and Cavs, Cavs, right? Right. And then David Blatt is on the sidelines and he's kind of just like going like this, and the referee just kind of looks at him and he's just like, "You don't have any of those," and just ignored him. But if he didn't, it would have lost them the game. It would have lost them the well, game. Lost well, them at least he down. did it. He did it from his corner. Right, but Spo goes out here high stepping. To get to the timeout, which is how he calls timeouts. Hey. And there was no denying it. Like, what is the ref supposed to do? If it was a little bit more. But he was so enraged that this messed up. And the crazy thing was, like, there was definitely some scatteredness going on. Because K they all thought the ball was going to Kate Cunningham, right? The play in. Same thing. They all thought the ball was going to, to Tyler. Right. But Kate ended up. The Kate ended up inbounding. So they were going to send Kalel out. And gonna have Bam and Kalel out on the floor at the same time. But when they saw that Cade wasn't gonna be getting the ball, 
They decide to pull Kalel back. That's why Terry Rozier stayed out there. And Terry Rozier's like, hey, Malik Beasley's going to screen you, Bam. Oh, no, never mind. Ty, ty, oh, no. But here's oh, my problem no. with this, right? Oh, no. It's, Once you see it happen, why don't you just grab him? Isn't it similar to the play that they just beat the Timberwolves with? That's what There's I just a said. That's what, that's what I just they were said. Yeah. yeah. So I then, just. So then if you're going to be, why be upset with the play that you just did on some, like, come on, go into overtime. They probably no, were like. My thing, wait, my thing is you should never get beat on the play you just used to beat somebody less than 48 hours ago. I would guarantee J.B. Bickerstaff probably in prepping for the game was like, that was a pretty good play. Keep that in the back pocket. I mean, I I think everything got shook up because they saw Cade inbounding the ball instead of getting the ball, taking the last shot. Oh, I think that just confused there. He he said if he read his lips, he he goes, I told you. I told you to watch for that. Yeah, I don't know what he exactly. I don't know what Terry Rozier is supposed to do. Basically, what he should have did. He's supposed to call that out, I guess. He should have left Kalel in the game. He probably should have. And told Kalel, look, they're going to go to the rim. Somebody's coming to the rim. I want you to protect the rim. End of discussion. Probably. but they And, they, and they, so whatever kind of motions they have, Kalel will not get caught up in that motion. Right. But and it was. That's, that's, and so they end up they end up getting Bam caught up. Dude, f- oh, sorry. Can you dump that? <laughs> dump that, Vlad. Oh, apologies. Bam got caught up in uh, my bad. I'm I'm like lost. I'm lost on it too. Jesus. Oh no! I told you yesterday. I apologize. It went straight to I the apologize. Tobin. Went straight to the tequila. When Tobin goes <laughs> Tobin tequila, it was vodka. Oh vodka! It was vodka. Well, when he goes to the vodka, it's Rap City, baby. It's over. <laughs> I apologize to the children speaking. Who um, should be in school? Spo got completely. Yeah, Bam got caught up there, and he and just Spo lost his mind. He did. I don't know, but no, they didn't. Kalel, they were even if they would have had Kalel in guarding. The inbounder, you still would have had some more size in that line instead of just only bam, and then being chased by, you know, when yeah, somebody well, I, got I free. Think I think their mind was like he was going to disrupt, but with a guy like Cade, Cade's pretty big. I don't know, but geez, here's Spo after the game. Let's uh, let me do the headline read first uh, before I, I got to avoid the feds. Anyway, headlines are brought to you by Doral Volkswagen. Doral Volkswagen, choose from over 300 new Volkswagen models in stock with the Tiguan, the Tess, and the Atlas. Remember, when it comes to Volkswagen, the great deals are at Doral Volkswagen Heat. Final score last night, 123-121 in overtime to start off the NBA Cup. <laughs> Blue court. Anyway, here Good was... games yesterday, though. The, well, that's the thing that sucks the most about it, right? Like, that was a great game. Oh, yeah, it was a great let game. Let me tell you, man. 1-4. Man. I mean, he might be the op, but I'm having, I'm starting to look at him so different. He, woo. What a game he had. Woo. What a game he had. That hey. fourth quarter, I hadn't seen something like that in a long time. Hey, he, you want to talk about taking over a game. And, and I mean, there's nothing. Here, here's when you know you're taking over a game. It wasn't a whole bunch of dump it and dribble, dribble, dribble. It was get him the ball and get out of his way. And he was shooting threes. He was uh, – it was like – Three threes. I think he had three threes in like 45 seconds. Yeah. And and they weren't like – they were no doubters. Clean. Just Clean. Like nothing but net. Right. No rattling. He was nothing. incredible. He was incredible. One shy – it was one shy of his career high. It was a, it was a tie for heat records on threes. Uh, six in the fourth quarter. Just – Insane. But and as far out as they were to have the lead, and then with that little bit of time left, I'm like, oh, let's hear what Spo has to say. I'm, I'm Spoh. curious. He's uh, oh, you haven't heard him yet? No, oh boy, here you go. Um, yeah, I mean, they only had 1.8 seconds. Um, you know, we felt like you know, uh, thought Cade might be in the field. He wasn't in the field. Um, and, they, you know, JB just drew up a great play. Um, we didn't have a, the backside protected. Um, that was just a really well-executed play. And um, and then I 
you know, I just made a just a serious mental error, you know, there at the end. That that's on my, uh, that's on me. I, I feel horrible about it. Um, there's really no excuse for that. I'm 17 years in. Um, we had talked about it in the huddle. I knew that uh, we didn't have anything. I just got emotional and um, and reactive uh, on that, and I just made up uh, just a hor- horrendous mistake uh, there at the end. It's a shame, um, you know, because we really fought back. We had some great defensive possessions, hustle possessions, so those 50-50 balls, and then Tyler was just sensational. You don't want it to come down to a mental error like that. Um, yeah, you just would have liked to have seen this go double overtime. That's that's the kind of game it it felt like. It, it, it deserved to go double OT um, and not so, have somebody get in the way uh, of that. And unfortunately, you know, even as a veteran coach, I got in the way of that. Yeesh. I got to tell you. It's going to eat them alive. I got to tell you, though. As things go, he owned it, right? But I know, we all know it was his fault. But but let me let me give you contrast to that. Georgia Tech last year. Oh yeah, but you see what I'm saying? I think I mean like this guy. Like we've talked. How many guys have Just talked about? It. Like this guy is so we respect. Everybody so, respects Spo. Everybody like he's he's so respected. He's so great. Spo, and Tyler even said it. Like listen, he won us the last game. He right. won us the last game with that play. So like so so, you know, although I'm. Annoyed, and it was a terrible way to lose a hard fought game. He's or he said it perfectly. I can't, he said that was a game that felt like double overtime. It, we fought our asses to get back into it, right? And I blew it and I got emotional, yeah. which is the first thing a coach will tell you as a player. Yeah, okay, but and, here's the thing, right? Yep, and I saw Chris Quinn try to tell him, and Chris Quinn. When he realized Chris Quinn did the turnaround, he turned his back to him. He's like, damn it, we, we they got they got it. He knows. But yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like, he had to know. They would they, they he knew. He said he knew he, staff he, there's, is there's nothing he's gonna hate more, Vlad, than a than a defensive miss uh you know, it, you know, missed assignment or whatever. But like again, also it was a great play. And and it's just like he just lost his mind. And that's so did this, I don't think he's I think he's been ejected from a game once and that was with like point two left in a double overtime game. This man keeps his cool like he just knows the line. We've talked to Ron Rossi about this. This guy yeah. knows the line more than anybody. But I don't know. I mean, that was it was a great game. It was it was so emotional back and forth. The swings. But, dude, I don't. I mean, that's the, I never thought they lose a game because of him. I he, never thought they lose a game. He because basically, of him like that. but but here's why you sympathize with him because he ate it right away. Yeah, he 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 put it on him, and a lot of people won't do that. So even though I'm upset that the Heat lost, I'm upset the way they lost. I ain't perfect. He made a mistake. A mistake that that man has made in 17 years. And in fact, we very rarely come in here after a game and talk about the coaching. Very rarely. So Slim, Slim says the play there is to have switchy defenders on the floor, not Terry bleeping Rogier. Spose legitimately idiotic for that. Yeah, he, and it felt like he I didn't thought, want to have I him thought, out there. Like, I that's, thought that's what's weird. About. Had, I thought he should have had a lot of size out there simply because it makes those types of passes more difficult. And, and even if you have somebody with some size with Terry Rozier, they're going to bang bodies. He might've also thought the Pistons were going for a three for the win. No. Why? <sighs> Dare to home. They, they get last possession. That's why you try to get you know. You no, have wing but, players. but 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 again, you still have of all your bigs. One of the things they can do is cover all is guard all over the court. So all you put in there is size. If they make a three and they shooting over a six ten or seven footer, they win. Yeah, it's kind of the only move because like who That's else are you right. good? in that in that spot? He has Pella Tyler. Haywood, Bam, 
and then Terry. So I'll put, so the thought I'll put was Kalel, he was going to put, put he was going to put he was going to put Kalel out, and he said that he pulled him back when he saw that Cade was inbounding the ball. So even even with that, even if I took Kalel and put him in front of Cade, that pass may go a little bit higher. And for Bam to snatch it, right, yeah, right. Size he, got to, he 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 size very clearly the, he very clearly I overthought this. Size is the only thing that can make that difficult. Because even if they run a perfect pick, if that ball arcs for a little bit more, getting over a big, now you got room to make catch up. So when Kalel came out, I thought that Kalel was going to be in front of Cade. That's yeah. I don't so, know. like, Pulled you, back. And, and, and guess what? Let's go to every other basketball team that we watch that runs the inbound pass. They take their tallest guy and put him over the guy taken out. Yep. They do. Why? Not because you want to make it as difficult as possible to make a great pass. And Cade's not short. No. So, the last thing you want. Is him to have somebody in front of him where he can just look around and throw it to whoever. No, but you're spot on. He probably thought like this is going to be either right back to him, maybe going Cade for the three or something like yeah, that. Yeah, that's what so I what? thought. Maybe he no, was that's fine. Like... Wait, again, that's fine. You still got an athletic big who can get in front of him if he can make a three over a seven footer. That's athletic. Good job. But I'm not going to put him in front of somebody that he can shoot over. So just remember, you don't have any timeouts, dude. Yeah, that game deserves another five minutes. Yeah. Hey. Great game, dude. Oh, my goodness. What a game. That that seemed like a playoff game, didn't it? It really did. I, I, thought, like, like, like a 2 2 tie in the seven game series and game. Yeah, oh, yeah. That was a and game. Five. Not, I mean, first five. of all, somebody mentioned it in the chat, but like, man, hope Tim Hardaway Jr. is okay. That was a scary thing. Yo, he, he got hit in the head twice. Guy in the t- apparently hit his head on the back. They had to get stitches for him. Um, you saw Tim Senior was there. Tim Senior went back yeah, to the locker room with he him. Nico got his nose broken. Yeah. Oh, that hey. Wow. hey, stop giving it a fancy name. <laughs> what they, they gave it a fancy reduced, name on uh, TV. Yeah, they called hey. it reduced sep- nasal septum, septum or something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah reduced. Mm-hmm. It means he closed his breathing tube because he squished his nose. He got like, turned zigzag. Yeah. And you know what they do, right? The, the, the... Yeah, they go out there and straighten it. Oof. So we got the nose ain't that's nothing but gristle. What's left... more swollen? Nick uh Pele's uh Nico's nose or Jimmy's ankle? Man, that that nose looked ugly. <laughs> that nose looked ugly, dude. He got bashed with it. You know you broke your nose when there's blood. Oh, we'll take a break. Back after this. Got you. 